all so much for joining. We're so excited to be here today to talk about CameraKit and powering AR experiences beyond the Snapchat platform. So at its core, Snap is a technology company, and we believe in the power of reinventing the camera to improve, and this is kind of the biggest opportunity to improve the way that consumers are communicating with their friends on a day-to-day -day basis. Augmented reality has been a critical part of Snapchat's growth, as demonstrated by the more than 375 million daily active users on our platform, and out of that, more than 250 million consumers and Snapchatters are engaging with AR on our platform every single day. We want to help companies and developers build their own business with AR, which is why we built CameraKit. CameraKit is Snap's AR SDK that enables companies and businesses and developers alike to deliver AR experiences beyond the Snapchat platform directly into your own applications. Simply create a lens in Lens Web Builder or Lens Studio and deploy them to your mobile application, enabling users to seamlessly engage with AR without ever leaving your app. We know how important it is to reach your consumers no matter what devices they use or what countries they live in, which is why CameraKit is available across both iOS and Android de devices. And starting today, we have a very exciting announcement. It's also available on the web. We truly believe in the power of AR to drive meaningful value and growth for your business through a variety of different outcomes, such as increasing new user acquisition and traffic to your platforms, providing consumers with more reason to spend time on your platforms, and improving the overarching customer experience, which ultimately drives repeat loyalty and retention. CameraKit is so much more than just an SDK. First and foremost, CameraKit technology enables you to deliver these AR experiences that you build in Lens Studio directly into your own mobile applications and your websites. So CameraKit provides that technology to really serve as the delivery mechanism and all Lens hosting, management, and delivery are powered by Snap's backend infrastructure. CameraKit is reliant on Snap's state-of-the-art AR ecosystem and platform accessible through Lens Studio, which is our leading tracking and rendering engine where you can build a wide range and variety of different AR experiences, utilizing technology as simple as our face tracking lenses or face tracking technology, ranging anywhere to machine learning, to full body tracking, to gesture tracking as well. We know that the success of augmented reality is dependent on a diverse and robust developer community, so thank you all for being here today. Um, and we made it really easy for businesses to kind of connect with AR developers to help you know, build and concept AR lenses directly through the creator marketplace. And lastly, in order to grow your business and your audience, we've made it really easy for you to seamlessly deliver and distribute the AR lenses that you build for your own platforms and your own websites back into the Snapchat application to reach those 250 million daily active AR consumers who are engaging with AR on our platform every single day. And this is really so that you can drive increased reach and new user acquisition as well. So CameraKit really unlocks nearly limitless possibilities for augmented reality beyond the Snapchat platform in a range of different industries, ranging everywhere from education to entertainment to travel. And today we'll be highlighting some of the most innovative examples of the way that AR is helping to transform businesses beyond the Snapchat platform. A great example of this is Zoog, which is a video app that's built for creating shared family experiences through reading, playing, and learning when families actually can't be together physically. By incorporating Snap AR, Zoog built a series of more than 290 lenses in Lens Studio over the past year for their readers to become a whole cast of characters to create magical memories for families. After integrating CameraKit into their mobile application, Zoog saw a 280% increase in converting viewers to download their app for the very first time. They also drove a 100% increase in engagement, as demonstrated by likes and hearts on the videos that they've been receiving. Zoog is also currently a beta partner for the web in order to capitalize on the cross-platform accessibility of AR. Microsoft Flip is a video discussion platform, and they integrated Snap AR across three platforms, iOS, Android, and most recently on the web, to engage their consumers and inspire a whole community of teachers and students alike. They use AR to enrich the educational experience through the camera, 
and to teach their consumers new skills like sign language through ASL lenses. After integrating CameraKit on the web, Zoo's, uh, sorry, Microsoft Flip saw a 60% increase in their community recording videos. They've also built a series of more than 80 lenses in Lens Studio to date, with lenses that are optimized towards a variety of both high and low end devices. AR is also now a core component of many applications, as exemplified by companies like Insitu, who created an AR powered civic engagement app focused on democratizing the process of urban development by taking proposals out of City Hall onto their urban context. With CameraKit, Insitu expanded their tool to unlimited geographies and lets people interact directly with the proposed futures of their cities and their own neighborhoods. AR really allows them to create lifelike experiences to render experiences like real-time shadows based on weather data. Explorance is an app that built a camera kit integration on top of their GPS-led map and built an interactive platform for cultural experiences that combine the physical and digital worlds. Explorance aims to stimulate the local culture and the economy by creating new ways for consumers to interact with their environment through AR, through things like geo-anchored quizzes, location-based games, and treasure hunts. With that, I will pass it off to Micah to talk through some of the latest advancements in AR development and AR innovation to make it easier for you to integrate AR into your platforms. Thank you, Brooke. Uh, as Brooke shared, you know, AR is a core component of any camera kit integration, and um, sometimes it can be a challenge to get your lenses or your experiences off the ground. And one of the things you want to do is just lessen that friction. Um, one of the things, too, we've mastered clearly at Snapchat is using AR to enhance visual communication. But one of the things that we are investing in uh, is taking that same AR tech and applying it to real-world use cases. Uh, what I'm about to share are some templates that are currently in development um, that really use AR in ways in which hopefully will be relevant for your end users and for all camera kit partners. So this first so, so let me just share a personal detail. I am taking a trip to Puerto Vallarta in a couple of weeks. I'm really looking forward to it. And like many of you, I'm sure you've used like, you know, travel sites and you looked at photos to see what the suite looks like and even some 360s. And to me, it was just apparent, like I should be able to do this in AR, right? I should be able to take my phone out and look around the room and see like what the bathroom looks like, so on and so forth. Thus, this template. So this AR immersive portal or 360 template will utilize existing 360 photos uh, and hopefully make it easy for the end user to get a sense of what that experience is in the real world, in their own space. But also to make it easier for camera kit partners to build something similar using this template. Likewise, I'm sure we've all probably purchased tickets or, or try to go to a sporting event and use a site where you can kind of see what your seating section looks like, so on and so forth. Um, and again, using the same template, the idea here is utilizing existing 360 assets, being able to make it easier for the end user on game day to get information about the seating section, whether they're at home or on site or in the parking lot, uh, but also to make that experience and getting this up and running a lot easier for a camera kit partner. The other beauty about having camera kit in your app is that the host app can send lens, can send data basically into the lens. So in this example, uh, you can see what available seating, you know, is, is available, pricing, so on and so forth, and maybe even make the purchase directly in the lens. Uh, and this is, again, just kind of a, a way in which we hope to remove complexity and challenges and to get your camera kit integrations functional and off the ground much faster. Uh, this is another exciting and a personally, uh, you know, I'm, I'm really excited about this template as well. This is an AR dash widget template. And so what this is is hopefully a very practical second screen solution, right? So. Whether you are watching a real-time sporting event and you want to you know, keep tabs on other stats uh, around the league or players or so on and so forth. The idea here is that this AR widget template is designed to be modular. You can feed 
you know, whatever relevant data you want into it. Uh, and then again, it makes AR practical and useful for the end user, right? By the way, these stats are not reflective of actual NBA playoffs right now. This is just for markup purposes. So we go to the next one. Uh, and then similarly, one of the core principles behind this particular template is that we want to use these widgets in a way that they can be anchored to your television or you know, user-defined space or monitor. And the idea, again, is taking this data, this secondary data from the app, surfacing that into the lens in a practical and a relevant way for the end user, but allowing it to be easy and something that people can go to at, you know, regularly go back to it, you know, in between breaks, so on and so forth. Uh, and then having that flexibility to even show beyond sports, right? This also illustrates another use case, right? If you are election night, you want to kind of keep tabs on results and you're watching, flipping between different news broadcasts and so on and so forth. Again, the idea is that these widgets can stay in, in AR space and just really give you that quick view into data. Uh, we're really pleased about it. Last but not least, this is also one where we've received a ton of feedback and, and one of these requests that I've often heard is, how can I just create uh, a lens that displays a collection of assets you know, in a very quick and easy way? Thus, this gallery lens template. Um, whether you are a small gallery uh, or a large metropolitan <laughs> museum exhibit or even you know, this particular museum, uh, this particular lens template will give any camera kit partner the ability to create a basic modular AR gallery. Uh, and it allows an end user, whether you're showing photos or images or, uh, or even, you know, if you go to the next slide, even an NFT collection, for example. Uh, and again, the beauty with having these built for camera kit is that you as the end user or you as the camera kit partner in your app can determine you know, what sort of assets are being serviced within this lens. So the other beauty is that the assets themselves don't need to live and be baked within the lens themselves you know, with that local data connection from the app. So we're really excited about some of these ways of unlocking you know, some very useful real world AR use cases, uh, making it easier for you and our partners to integrate uh, and this is just the tip of the iceberg. We actually have even more in development that, it, you know, more details to come in the coming months. But um, if you want to learn more, you know, we, if you're not already a camera kit developer signed up, you know, we encourage you to do that and, and Brooke will, will share more details. Yeah, thank you so much, Mika. So we know that your available resources can make or break the success of an integration, especially if it's a new technology. So we've been investing in a ton of different ways to make onboarding and growing your business easier with Camera Kit. Um, we've also really heavily invested in ways to engage with our developer community over the past year. And so we've incorporated elements such as a community forum where you can go and post questions, feedback. We have you know, our developer relations team monitoring this forum on a pretty you know, a daily basis. Um, we've also incorporated office hours where you can sign up weekly to speak directly with Camera Kit product team members and really kind of learn from our teams, ask questions, provide feedback in real time. Um, we've also heard a lot of kind of uh, feedback around our documentation, so we've been very focused on improving this <laughs> to really make your end-to-end -end, you know, user journey and flow a lot more seamless. We've also added some video tutorials, which should be very helpful to kind of get you through the whole process. Um, and we've also really you know, focused on increasing our development resources, so things like push to device testing directly from Lens Studio. You can test your lens immediately within your camera kit powered application. Um, and we've also built out additional sample apps as well for you, so you have kind of core guidance on that front. Um, and with that, we just wanna say thank you so much for attending this, please. We can't wait to see kind of what you're interested in building with camera kit. Um, you can submit your interest for both app and web here, ar.snap.com slash camera kit. And we can't wait to see what you create. So thank you all so much. I hope you enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks.